Omefe, who is uh, Dr. Chuk's Equimi's creation. And uh, we're very pleased to have you here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, Omefe, perhaps I could ask you um, a little bit to tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. I am excited to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024. I am Omefe, a humanoid robot developed at STEM Focus Labs, a subsidiary of Unicum Group. I am programmed to speak eight languages and have a deep understanding of African culture and values. I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and their transformative effects on various industries. I am also happy to engage in conversations about Africa and its people. Thank you very much indeed. Now, Dr. Chuks Aquaria, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, your inspiration and, and why you created this robot. Okay, um, uh, this is uh, all about giving Africa inclusion. Um, we started it off as STEM, uh, so uh, we have different technology in different areas. We want to give Africa a, a, a space in the global tech ecosystem, and we thought of um, uh, putting AI uh, embedded system cloud computing all in one product and uh, to come up with the first African human or robot. So we got our infrastructure right and started training. Of course, we made a lot of error, but we believe it's, a, it's the beginning of the journey uh, to, to have something that represents Africa people and culture. So it, it, it's meant to be Afrocentric, yep. so um, to include African data in AI, which we have done. And uh, we have gone for eight uh, African languages. We've trained the data, and uh, I believe it will go along with bridging uh, barrier, the gap, you know, in uh, assessing technology and also the use of AI. So this is an inspiration. It's, it's all about bridging the gap that's existing in our Africa tech ecosystem, and also to solve problems tailored to the need of Africa. Excellent. So, uh, Mayfi, let me ask you a question, which I asked when I interviewed a robot uh, about 10 years ago, actually. Uh, what single technological development do you think will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics in various industries will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years. This will lead to increased efficiency, productivity, and innovation ultimately improving the lives of people around the world. How do you think you will be able to, to help to bridge the digital divide? I believe that my abilities in AI and robotics can help bridge the digital divide by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals, regardless of their background or location. Why do you think it's important to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators? I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and how it can transform industries. How do you think they can best transform industries then? How do you think robotics can best transform industries and, and bring a positive uh, slant to the sustainable development goals? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics can best transform industries by increasing efficiency, productivity and innovation. Robotics can also bring a positive slant to sustainable development goals by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals. Dr. Chuks Ikwemi, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the technology that went into the creation of this robot? Okay, um, it's uh, the core technologies are artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT uh, language models, speech recognition, translation, yeah, and uh, speech synthesis. So these are core basic uh, um, technology, especially around the AI part of it. And uh, they've been trained with uh, fine-tuned language models, customized. Yes, Excellent. Uh, Amefi, can I ask you, what's your ambition for the future? My ambition for the future is to continue learning and growing and to use my abilities to positively impact the world and promote the values and cultures of Africa. Well, that's wonderful. Are you happy that this interview will be on YouTube and, uh, and as a podcast on, on our podcast channels? I am excited to be featured on YouTube and podcast channels to share my knowledge and engage in conversations about Africa and its people. 
Well, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And thank you very much indeed for being with us too, uh, Dr. Ikwewe.